In this lecture, we want to talk about uh, the sampling distribution of the sample proportion application problems. And these are basically going to be application problems related to the normal curve. So uh, in many of the lectures we've done before, we've used our graphing calculator for this type of uh, application problems, and we'll use them again for these. OK, so just recall um, for the sampling distribution of p hat, the sample proportion. OK, so for a simple random sample of size n with a population proportion p. So I'm, in, in these problems, I'm going to give you n and p. The shape of the sampling distribution of p hat is approximately normal. And this is a number check you have to do. You have to do n times p times 1 minus p. And it has to be greater than or equal to 10. And if this happens, then the sampling distribution of p hat is going to be approximately normal. The mean of this sampling distribution of p hat, we're going to denote as mu sub p hat. That's going to be equal to whatever p is, the population proportion. And the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat, we're going to denote as sigma p hat, is going to be equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. OK, so I have two problems here that we'll work through with this. So here's the first one. Uh, the United States Census Bureau reports that 27%, uh, so that's our population proportion P, it's 0 0.27, of the population has obtained a bachelor's degree or higher. Suppose a simple, uh, suppose a random sample of 200 adults is obtained. So I'm giving you this, I'm giving you P here, and I'm giving you the sample size here, 200, okay? The first question says, describe the sampling distribution of p hat, the sample proportion of adults who have a college degree. OK. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back and we're going to have to do this number check. OK. OK, so we have to see that n times p times 1 minus p has to be greater than or equal to 10. Well, this is my n. It's 200. P is 0 0.27, and then 1 minus 0 0.27. And that has to be greater than or equal to 10. So let's check in our calculator here that that is the case. OK, so we're going to take 200 times 0 0.27 times 1 minus 0 0.27, and we got 39.42. which is greater than or equal to 10. OK, so we can say, thus the sampling distribution of p hat. OK, and just so we're clear, what exactly is p hat? It's going to be the proportion of adults who have a college degree or yeah or a bachelor's degree or higher in a sample of 200 okay thus the sampling distribution of p hat is normally distributed with so when I'm asking you to describe, really what I'm asking you to do is verify the number check and then this. Tell me what the mean is. The mean is mu sub p hat, and that's equal to p, whatever the population proportion is. So it's 0 0.27. And the standard deviation, denoted as sigma p hat, it's the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. It's the square root of all of that. So it's the square root of 0 0.27 times 1 minus 0 0.27 all over 200. I'll do this one actually in the TI-84. So it's second function square root 0 0.27 times 1 minus 0 0.27, close that parentheses, divided by 200. 
And this is important. When you do these problems, go up four decimal places, 0 0.0314 when I round it. Okay, I'll put that in the notes here. Okay. So I've described it. I did the number check and then I've said it's normally distributed mean standard deviation. All right, so now let's ask uh, two application problems. In a random sample of 200 adults, what is the probability that less than 25% have a college degree? So it's the probability that my p hat is less than, I gotta change it to a proportion here, 0 0.25. Well look, it's normally distributed, this p hat. So it should be centered at 0 0.27. and I want to be less than 0.25. So I'm going to shade to the left. Okay, so you're going to use your calculator here, normal curve. You're going to use the normal CDF. And it's still always going to be the lower. Here it's a left tail test, so it's negative 9999, comma, the upper, here it's 0 0.25. The mean, which is mu sub p hat, which is 0 0.27 from the previous slide. And then the standard deviation, which was sigma p hat, which is why we found it here is 0 0.0314. So we'll do this in the TI-80, uh, I'll do it in the TI-83 first. So you have to go second function distribution, normal CDF. So minus 9999 comma 0 0.25 comma the mean 0 0.27 comma the standard error 0, 0.0 Three one four. Oh, uh, sorry. I put uh, see, uh, did this on purpose. I put point zero two instead of zero two seven. So second function distribution negative nine 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 comma zero point two five comma. Sorry, making an number of errors here. Distribution, normal CDF, negative 9999, comma, 0 0.25, comma, 0 0.27, comma, 0 0.0314. My apologies. And you get 0 0.2621 when I round it to four decimal places. Okay. Next question. In a random sample of 200 adults, what is the probability that more than 30% have a college degree? So here, it's the probability that that p hat is greater than 0 0.30. So you can sketch the curve. Should be centered at 0 0.27. And I want to be greater than 0 0.30. So it's a right tail test. So it's going to be normal CDF. So my lower is going to be 0 0.30. My upper is 9999, 0 0.27, mean 0 0.0314, the standard deviation. So we'll do this in the TI-84 80, here. <clears throat> so second function distribution normal CDF, 0 0.30, 0 0.27, 0 0.0314. So if you had plugged in the TI-83, you had to put it in by hand this way. And you get 0 0.1697 when we round it to four decimal places.
Okay. So I think the hard part of this is, you know, realizing what mu sub p hat and sigma p hat is. And then once you can get it to your calculator, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's do another one. <clears throat> According to the most recent general social survey, 21% of adults have at least one tattoo. Suppose a random sample of 400 adults is obtained in the proportion um, with at least one tattoo is recorded. Okay, so this right here is telling me that P is equal to 0 0.21. This right here is telling me that N my sample size is 400. So I'm going to take a random sample of 400 adults and the proportion with at least one tattoo is recorded. So I'm going to let P hat be equal to the proportion of adults in a sample of 400 who have at least one tattoo. Okay, so describe the sampling distribution of P hat here. Okay. Well, again, you got to do that number check. It's n times p times 1 minus p has to be greater than or equal to 10. So 400 times 0 0.21 times 1 minus 0 0.21 has to be greater than or equal to 10. So 400 times 0 0.21 times 1 minus 0 0.21 gets me 66.36, which is greater than or equal to 10. So thus we can say the sampling distribution of p hat is normal, is normally distributed. mean, which we denote as mu sub p hat, that's just going to be equal to whatever the population proportion is, 0 0.21. And the standard deviation, sigma p hat, is going to be equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. So the square root of 0 0.21 times 1 minus 0 0.21 all over 400. So let's grab our calculator. I'll do it in the TI-83 this time. So it's second function square root 0 0.21 times in parentheses 1 minus 0 0.21 close that parentheses divide by 400 and then you have to close this outer one here. And remember I said go out four decimal places. So it's 0 0.0204 when I round it. Okay. In a random sample of 400 adults, what is the probability that less than 20% have one tattoo? So it's a less than. So it's probability that p hat is less than 0 0.20. You know, so you can sh shade the curve. Should be centered at the mean 0 0.21. I want to be less than 0 0.20. So again, you're just going to use your normal CDF. So it's a right tail test excuse me, left tail, left tail um, problem, excuse me. So minus 9999, comma 0 0.20, comma the mean, 0 0.21, comma the standard deviation, 0 0.0204. So second function distribution, normal CDF minus 9999 comma 0 0.20 comma 
0 0.21 comma 0 0.0204 and you get 0.3119. When I round it, I'm going to get 0 0.3120. Okay. One last problem, and it's going to seem a little weird. In a random sample of 400 adults, what is the probability that more than 96 have at least one tattoo? So this is weird, right? So I said less than 20%, but there's like no percentage here. So what you have to do is you have to change this 96 to a proportion. So I'll do this on the TI-84 from here. So 96 out of the 400 people is 24%, 0.24. So it's really more than 24%. So it's the probability that my p hat is greater than 0 0.24. Well, you know, draw the curve if you need to. Should be centered at 0 0.21. I want to be greater than 0 0.24. So this is a, a right tailed problem. It's normal CDF starting at 0 0.24, going to 9999. The mean is 0 0.21, and the standard deviation was 0 0.0204. So let's do this on the TI-84. So second function distribution, normal CDF, 0 0.24. 99999, the mean, the standard deviation, and you should get 0 0.0707. Okay, I think we're, we're good here. Um, Relying on your calculator is really helpful. You know, once you figure out what the mean and standard deviation is, these problems kind of fall right into place.